I guess this is kind of like my apology video. Now, I know a lot of people will probably be like, Scales, why are you even bringing it up? Or why are you even worried about it? Because this topic's actually very important to me. Guys, if you've watched my channel for the past few years, you know that I haven't really ever just ended a career mode. I mean, I did with the Juventus one, and I was actually supposed to live stream, and then I got caught up and I never got to live stream it. I've barely ever just ended a career mode without finishing it. And this is the big thing to me, guys, is that all summer long, and this this is why I'm bringing it up. All summer long when there was no ultimate team content and nobody really wanted to watch FIFA, my career mode audience held me down. They held this channel down. I don't even know what my channel would be without my career mode audience viewers. And I truly feel like the past few weeks I have let my audience down with the career mode. I mean, just five, six days ago, I, I, I uploaded a video called RIP and I talked to you guys about getting it right, figuring it out. Well, I figured it out. I figured out how to make things right, but I want to talk to you guys and really get your suggestions first of all i've been posting the career mode pretty much i used to post it every other day then during the summer i posted every day and then came foot champions and i've posted once a week now once a week in my opinion is just not good enough my audience gets invested in a series and then only once a week it comes out i mean that's more bs than when i used to watch the sopranos and it only came out every sunday night at nine o'clock my time but i had to be at school the next day and i was hella pissed and i wanted to square up on the sopranos but then i realized they were the mafia and they would probably Probably kill me if that happened. I know they're only fake, but you know, I can believe in Santa Claus, can't I? Anyways, man, I was really, really pissed off that that only came out once a week. So I know how my viewers feel here, man. I know how you guys feel. Now, no way am I comparing my channel to The Sopranos because The Sopranos absolutely poopoos on my channel. I'm just saying that I'm not giving you guys enough career mode like you deserve. So with that being said, I've come to a conclusion. We can keep this career mode riding and I can try to post it to you guys as much as possible. Or if this video gets 20,000 likes, we'll start again. Now, I'm willing to start again with Liverpool. I'm willing to start with Dortmund, with Manchester United. We'll figure that part out. But for now, the only reason I'm offering you guys or asking you guys, do you want me to start over, is because I truly feel like the fact that you guys have waited so long for each episode, nobody even knows what's going on anymore. Like, honestly, I couldn't even tell you. I make the content and I don't remember what happened in the last episode. I swear, I don't remember what happened in the last episode. I just went to the squad thing and realized that Chan got injured. Is that Chan or Will Naldum? Chan. So guess what, man? Another guy to the injuries. Also, if we do somehow start over, I'm gonna have to bump down injuries or maybe even even turn them off because this is just absolutely unbelievable. Regardless, Booyah Nation, I'm offering you guys something. 20,000 likes, we can either do a Liverpool one again, Dortmund, you guys could blow it up down below. And if you guys do want to start over, then I'll come out with a video where we can vote and figure out what league and what team we're going to do. But for now, I just don't feel like I'm doing you guys right. You guys supported me way too heavily throughout the summer. I see you guys. I want you to know I, I, acknowledge, I, I love you guys. I acknowledge you. You guys are such an important part of this channel. My career mode viewers and I don't want to do you guys dirty so before I start seeing comments of you guys getting sad and mad at me I want to address you before you even look my way I want you to know I'm here and I'm seeing you man I see what I'm doing to you and I don't like it man I know a lot of you guys like my foot champ foot champion content even though it's no career mode you still are down with the foot champion stuff but still man career mode's been a big part of us and I don't want to do y'all dirty in the league right now Man, where are we, man? We're somewhere in March. Actually, look, the season's pretty much over, man. So us stopping, it's not like we're stopping anything too crazy. The season's pretty much almost over. Uh, the table, I believe we're pretty far ahead, man. Here we go, actually. Yeah, we're six points clear. Top of the table against Manchester United. They're the ones chasing us. We have 16 goals against. We barely get scored on and a lot of goals for. Now, the injuries have been unbelievable. There's been a stupid amount of injuries all season long. Uh, it's been really annoying to play, but there is like I just want you guys to know that I'm not ending it because I'm not happy with the Liverpool career mode because I am. Matter of fact, the last episode, you guys actually got more views than most of my draft of glories get. I mean, I know the career mode audience is fiending for their for the content. I'm just not able because I wasn't posting it quick enough. Uh, it's kind of boring because you lose where you're at. I know that because I lost where I'm at. And what I'm kind of proposing is right when we start the new one off, right when I'm ready and I know it's time to do it, I'm going to start the new one off or continue this one and make sure I'm giving giving you at least two, three an ep a week because one is just not enough, man. One episode is nowhere near enough for a series on a channel. So anyways, man, a lot of stuff's going on in this career mode. And like I said, we're kind of all off track. I only have a 69 manager rating, so I'm pretty close to getting fired. And it's not because... 
It's not because of uh, what you would call it, of, of, of us sucking or me sucking because we're doing amazing. It's that they want me to sell young players or something. Alberto wants to discuss his wages. Look at Stevie G, man. He wants to leave again. Stevie G not happy with his role at the club. A Liverpool legend actually wants out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead. See, I didn't want to simulate any games because I don't know if you guys are going to want to continue this one. If you want to continue this one, we would. Uh, so I didn't want to simulate games, but I will. You know what? Who cares? If we get behind... I'll just find a way to recover and we'll, we'll, we'll be able to, you know, I, I think we'll be able to bounce back. We're six points clear either way. Let me fix the team real quick. Uh, our strikers are going to be the boy. Oh, God. Vardy, Sean, everybody's still injured, so none of them can play. 3-5-2, we figured out very quickly, was a great formation for us. Uh, we figured that out midway through the season. And we'll now dumb Draxler. And up top, I really don't have anything else for the striker position. Huh? We could throw Gaia instead of Alberto Moreno. And at the striker position, we really don't have much else going on because of all of our injuries. So Hernandez and uh, Ben Yedder are up top. And they're going to have to go ham against Arsenal and see if they can pick up a W as we simulate. So once again, Booyah Nation, it's my apology video. It's me saying sorry to you guys because honestly, man, I know you guys like the foot champions. I can see how much people are enjoying foot champions, even the draft of glory. And I can see my career mode audience in the comments supporting because the same people that wouldn't I, I know y'all's the usernames man y'all in my you my comments of the career mode saying how much you like them And y'all are still in my other videos saying how much you like those even though the career that that just means a lot to me And I just I, I don't like the fact big boy Giroud man the French beast goes ahead and tucks man I don't like how I'm doing you guys man. Uh, I just don't I just don't feel good with it I don't feel good with that type of uh I like consistency on my channel. The one thing since last, I, as, a, as a YouTuber, I, I, when I went down to once upload, one upload a day instead of two, I used to upload two a day, three a day, um, and then I opened a second channel and stuff got very difficult. So, But anyways, um, I realized last December that my channel was, I was doing pack openings and forfeit videos and this and that and that and this and this, and my channel was kind of all over the place. And then last November, December, I kind of, I I, 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 I like told myself, I want to stick true to draft to glories and career modes and kind of go back and forth and back and forth. And I've been doing that all throughout the summer, all throughout everything. Then I got to hear where I was going to do draft to glory foot champions, career mode, draft to glory foot champions, career mode. And I kind of got lost in the draft in the foot champions. So that's why I'm here to tell you guys, man, if we start over or if we keep this one going, whatever we do, if we do start over, we're going to start over. It's going to be a career mode, draft to glory, foot champions, career mode, draft to glory, foot champions. That'll be our schedule so we'll make sure we're getting two to three episodes of foot champions a week i mean of career mode a week also get the foot champions content in also may maybe throughout the week you'll be drafted glory and career modes weekend foot champions and kind of have that rolling all throughout the week man so i promise you guys will get it right even with us dropping points, we're five points clear still because Manchester United happened to slip up. We'll go ahead and simulate another game, man, and kind of just keep it rolling. Like I said, we're in March either way, so we're almost at the back end of the season. I could easily just finish it for you guys. Um, I just didn't want to... I just... I feel like we're just all over the place, man, and I don't like it. I feel like we're just like... I don't even know what's going on. I swear to you guys. La I can't even tell you the teams we played last episode. I think we played Chelsea. I'm pretty sure we played Chelsea, actually. I think we beat Chelsea, because I remember we went 3-5-2, and I think we beat Chelsea. And the only reason I remember that is because they parked the bus on us, or they played five at the back on us, and we beat them. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go to the calendar and see if I was correct on that. But I'm pretty sure we beat them, and I think we also played Manchester United, maybe, or maybe even Man City. But maybe I just have a poor memory, but I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that I'm doing it to myself because it's hard for me to kind of keep up with what's going on. But as I go back, we did. So here, this is what we did, man. We played Spurs and we beat them 5-1. We played Hall City and beat them 4-1. And we played Chelsea and beat them 4-1. So like a lot of goals for, nothing really against. That was the last episode. Then this, oh, we also played United, won that 2-0. Then this episode, we played Arsenal maybe. Oh, maybe last episode we played Leicester and Manchester United. Damn! You see, I'm even confused. And I, could, I can imagine you guys, man. I'm making the content. Y'all must be hella confused. I'm sorry, guys. I'm truly sorry, Booyah Nation. I love you guys, man. My biggest flaw in the beginning of FIFA 17, 17 this year is this right here. Is the fact of the non-consistent career modes. I don't like it. I'm, I'm apologizing to you guys. I, I promised I was going to get it right. And I am going to get it right. And the way I'm going to get it right is I'm proposing a new career mode to you guys. With Liverpool, with Dortmund, with Manchester United, with Man City. We're going to figure that out. But if you guys want to do one on one, smash a thumbs up. And I promise you it's going to be two to three episodes a week, depending on the week. Because if we do Monday career mode, Tuesday foot champion, or excuse me, Monday career mode, Tuesday draft to glory, 
Wednesday, career mode. Thursday, foot champion rewards. Friday, draft to glory. Um, Saturday, possibly either a career mode or a foot champions. Then back to draft to glory, then career mode. And then that way we're getting in like two to three episodes. We'll rotate it properly, but it won't go more than three days without a career mode episode to make sure we're getting it in and everybody can stay up to date, stay with the playlist, and nobody's getting confused. Since we're here, we already lost to Arsenal. Uh, we picked up a, a solid win in the second game. And we'll, we'll see what happens against Guardiola side and the Man City side. And this year's BPL is crazy, man. I actually want to bring that up to you guys real quick because I haven't sat down and just talked football with you guys for a while. I am shocked about Chelsea. The same team that completely looked terrible last season under Mourinho comes out, has pretty much the best defense in the league, less goals scored against. They're just absolutely unbelievable. And now they're running away with the league as Man City absolutely annihilate us here. Chicharito brings one back and we're going to end up losing again so uh you know what maybe Simmons was actually pretty bad but anyways man Chelsea completely running away with this league right now under uh the new uh manager from Italy please let me know your thoughts about the BPL down below I think it's absolutely unbelievable and then the champions Leicester City completely a different season from last year two like it's two different stories it's like it's like Leicester City and Chelsea just completely traded everything it's like they just completely flip-flopped and now Leicester City's battling at the bottom and Chelsea's back where everybody thought they were gonna be last year what a crazy 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 story that is happening in the BPL this season uh anyways even though we bottled some more points we are still four points clear it's like ea just won oh no still five points clear three and then two yeah five points still man even though we completely messed up against city and against arsenal manchester united just not does not want to take advantage of us here oh actually i think they took advantage now didn't they or maybe they have a game in hand. They do. Manchester United has a game in hand as we play Everton. We'll simulate this one as well, which is in April. So pretty much the league's almost at the end without us even really wanting to end. We're at the end either way. If we win here, I pretty much think that we're going to be champions almost. The boy Gaia got a yellow card instantly. And one more time, guys. Just know, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm, no, I'm big time sorry, man. I truly am sorry. I love you guys, man. I know what you did for me all summer long. I know you guys were here. I know you guys were supporting when nobody else wanted to watch. I know how much you guys uh, mean to this channel. I love you guys. I feel like I can't state that enough. Uh, you guys are such a big part of my life, of my channel, and I truly, truly, truly do love you guys, man. So Everton holds us to a nil-nil, which is actually going to keep us, what, three points clear in front of Manchester United? Yeah, three points clear in front of Manchester United at the back end of the season as well. So even if we kept this Liverpool one going, we got uh, about four games on this page and then four games here and the season's over. And honestly, against all teams that we probably should be, Watford, uh, Sunderland, Crystal Palace, Stoke City. So no more big games. So I think we were going to be champions regardless. I think we're going to be crown champions. Anyways, Booyah Nation, I'm going to leave it like that, man. You guys, let me know what you want in the comments down below on the thumbs up button. If you don't like the idea of starting over, just let me know in the comments down below. It's cool. We'll figure it out. But I promise you guys, man, we're going to get this right. I'm going to do you guys right. And I do apologize, man. So I love you guys. Y'all the best people in the world. Smash the thumbs up if you want us to start over or with the same team, different team. Just blow it up down below. Let me know all your thoughts, all your feedback, and know that I am sorry. I love you guys, man. Thank y'all for watching. You guys are the best. Booyah, we out. Another weekend, that means another foot champions tournament. Your boy went 36 wins last weekend, which got us 59th in the world. That means anything under 36 this weekend is an epic failure. On your screen right now is how I completed the Aubameyang squad builder challenge. But why am I showing you this? See, every weekend I feel like I do the exact same thing. I kick off, I start off, I go on this epic run, I beast the feast, I think I'm going 40 and 0. But then I choke like Eminem in 8 mile. I just choke it up, I lose like 2 or 3 games, and then I go on another incredible run. Now, I'm not spoiling nothing, but as I went on the little the little choke, your boy decided to make an investment in this Aubameyang. Now, this investment, well, we'll talk about that in just a second. This is the team I get matched up against in game two. Game one, I actually lost the footage.